getting ready for the party. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> What's up? Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Um, Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on, you can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, and sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. Should check it outside. Voicemail from Yuri. Hey, silent alarm at the auction house holding this estate sale just tripped. Could you... Check it out. Quietly. I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale. Sounds fun. Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets. All units, civilians need help at the scene of a car accident. Officers in Murray Hill, stand by for further instruction.
I lost track of you at the party. Yeah, I uh, had to get to the lab. Sorry. Don't apologize. I just wanted to tell you how much what you said meant to me. I always wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if... Not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you too. Yuri said quietly. Better find a back way in. Here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file, or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. Need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. So cozy whipped up like that. Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. That time.
Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least, I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh-huh. Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I am covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here. No moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions. Being willing to say, yeah, that was me. Bedfisk saw himself in this. A great man willing to do what others wouldn't. Dude had no self-awareness. I remember when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including... Hmm. Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Kyoto. So let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now, this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... 
A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. That... Shh, got it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... this is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? Quiet. If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. Pete told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens. But how? That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. something. The statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Pieces move. Maybe I should turn the head. Nice. So close. But a piece is missing. I've seen these before. That's not right. That's it. Norman Osborne. What is this? 
devil's breath. What is devil's... What the... Excuse me, sir. You... you can't be... Not good. Where's the statue? In... in... in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete. Focus. She don't! Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Okay, Pete. I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Gotta stay silent. Keep it tight, Pete. it off. That's all of them. No! Let me go! MJ! Stop! No. Hide! Not cool with the hostage taking, guys. up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I fought specters, but, you know, technically specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. Ah! 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 Ah!
That was a workout. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? <sighs> Since when did Mix become Italian? Uh, no idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well, yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost oh, sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and, uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Heading down third. Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again, 
Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Attention units, we've got reports of muggings in the area. Please proceed to Madison. following a severe accident. Officers near Bowery, please respond. That car crash looks bad. Hope no one's injured. here to help. Someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Move, move, move! Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Hey. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> 
Hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. An Oscorp vis... the gastro garage. Where we deconstruct classic dishes, reconstruct them into what we call a gastro tank. It's a donut we fill with nitrous injected foam. Come check us out. Stay tuned. Uh, I understand. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. It scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. 
He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. they call organized crime. So much for the gang that couldn't drive straight. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Repeat, assault reported. Any officers near Madison, proceed to the crime scene. Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker. How the hell are you? Speak of the devil. 
Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. New York's noisy, but my mask can zero in on muffled sounds. The kind of tied up kidnap victim might make. Stretch your legs. There, that was getting out. Thank you. There, those are the guys who did it.
Encima de ellos. me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might chill their polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots. Like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! Getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <coughs> huh. The toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Perfect. Smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Tower's back up already. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cops. 
His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. The vacuum I created by putting Fisk away? Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our fu- Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid? You just stupid! You talk so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Coming your way! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Don't let me have the money! Sorry, it's not gonna happen! anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman. If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Nicely, maybe. Catch. Quick now for your own toys. Nope, gotta try something else. Herman, it's not likely to be afraid of people. Not even turning these guys on people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? This one's gonna hurt. <laughs> these mask guys, what do they want the money for? No, no, don't care. Don't 
Okay, catch this one with your face! On yourself, literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri, shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Hopkins, check in. Someone find Hopkins. I heard that ring. Turn off again. You know this old bootlegger tunnel isn't gonna seal itself. You wanna help me out here? Right there. Sleep it off.
anybody comes here has to be suicidal. Com check Cobra 4. Feet are killing me. What's that? Com check, Echo One. Should've got a coffee. No response from Echo One. Check on his position. I literally didn't see that coming. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. We'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself, but you know, I'm Spider-Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. Electric web for the win. A gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. I started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. 
Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Did that work? Nah. Must not be the right box. Keep looking. Thanks. No way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. I got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Aha. Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Pay dirt! Scrape, no door. None I can see anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Right, I'm on it. Ah! Second floor, rusted machine parts, big honkin' rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. <sighs> nice, stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. <laughs> Found one. Nailed it. Hey, check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. Well, look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. The place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! Damn. 
demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. There. They blew the locks to get in. Shh. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Find cover! That's what I'm talking about! Just trying to do my part. Fire Stay clear! Now you're just showing off! I'm a little impressed! Thanks, I needed that! Hey Jeff, one of your tricks would be great about now! Timing is impeccable! See? I've got friends too! How we doing? You okay? Go! I'll catch up! If I lose two trucks full of gunmen in one day, it's time to hang up the web. Better. These guys are all over the road. They'll kill someone if I can't stop them. Doing my best to catch up, but you might be on your own. Stay safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy. Sanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Here's your stuff. Hey guys, room for one more? Decides to run on time.
We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Hop in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Come on. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's room 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage. Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. I don't care if I lose everything else, but I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck? I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. it's locked. Can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. It's not really breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, no need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great, I'm headed there now. Hey, it's a long shot. But sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shops. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No. Started with an L, I think. Wait, I think I see the trucks. Thanks, Eddie. No worries. Hope you find your stuff. Should be some trucks. Nope. Stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. No sign of my stuff. <coughs> what an interesting smell. 
Kennedy, you're my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh, looks like trouble. Thanks, Spider-Man. You okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. There's something there. Gotta move these bags out of the way. I think that's it. <laughs> please be here, please be here. Yes! Hope it still works. Phew, looks like everything's here. Hey, look, an old gadget prototype. Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? Uh, I think I can make this work. Got it. Look, is that guy a spider? Uh oh. Ice. Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. All right, how am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hi, MJ, Peter. Any chance I could stay over to- oh, that's too far. MJ! I was just in the neighborhood and- oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ, now that we're talking again, I thought maybe- okay, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Uh, what am I thinking? Hmm, just got a web alert. Huh, looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. Someone left me a voicemail. Number's blocked, though. Hey there, spider. Long time no see. Miss me? Come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. Attention all units. Assault in progress. Incident is active in Dutchtown. Over. No, 
Now, how often do I say Spider-Man should let the police handle... Hello, Spider. Been thinking about you a lot lately. We were good together, weren't we? Maybe it's time to reignite the flame. Black Cat. Don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? She wants me to find something. I need to look harder. There. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out. Hey, Yuri. You still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were gonna meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. I believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What about my dog? What are you doing here so late? Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, 
You are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. <sighs> Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. It's so humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Good stuff. Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know bad boys aren't my type. There it is. Why are you doing this, Felicia? You know I'm gonna catch you. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. Hey, Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fifth construction site of Midtown. My wife would kill me if I ditched the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by and let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> Cops are coming. I've been on worse terms with them, but why take chances? reported. Officers near Gramercy, please report.
consolidated shipping. I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. You got what you came for. You don't need to kill us, too. <laughs> Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. Jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go.
stay here. Wait for the police. Gotta find the survivors fast. Sleep it off. Big guy. Men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof. I've missed these cryptic fist talks. That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. I know. You need to bring it down. 
I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. I live to regret this. Hi, is this the flight to Newark? the helicopter's engines. One engine down. Now for the second. Masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh, cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Yes. Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right. Tell your pops I said congrats. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. Another battle between Spider-Man and these demon masked gunmen threatening the lives of New Yorkers. I understand our next caller lives in the area. 
You're on. We'll change on a depth. Yeah, um, the thing is, it all happened in a shipyard that's been closed for years. There weren't any innocent people in danger. Oh, is that your expert opinion? Well, let me tell you what I've learned from sources I developed in my award-winning journalism career. That shipyard was a front for Wilson Fitz. He's been using it to smuggle guns, grenades, military-grade ordnance. Oh, that explains a lot. Ah. Uh, There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or, maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so... so? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery. Above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family, my wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I, I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. No. <laughs> 
baby. Can you hear me? Peter. Voice my hand if you can hear me. Stay here. I'm going to find your father. Peter. Peter, wake up. Come on, say something, please. <sighs> Over there. Right there. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? What? That guy, he can pull you over. Can't cross yet. Gotta find a way around these guys. I was right there. Gotta help him.
No. Stop. No. Enough. We have to leave. Now. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing? I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Uh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Another camera. Looks like Black Cat, all right. Oh, poor spider. I know I disappointed you when I couldn't go straight, but why mess with perfection? Huh. 
Another cat. I think they sell rare wine here. She's branching out. Gotta try and get ahead of her. Demons have brought two cars. There's a bomb rig to explode. We need to stop them. Here's your stuff. There's a bomb in the truck. Gotta disable it. was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. Looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Uh-huh. Gotta find a junction box. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. Guns from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? 
This is crazy. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fist to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. You literally didn't see that coming. He's not out here. Better check inside. Good thing I stopped this when I did. You could blow up half of Manhattan with this stockpile. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. 
pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? These guys aren't kidding around. They have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find Lee? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. So I'll check it out and get back to you. This is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. <laughs> 